Hello everybody, this is Mika Seppälä. In this video I saw that not all real numbers are rational. A positive real number is a number that can occur as the length of an object or the distance between two points. Rational numbers are numbers with some ratios of two integers. The great Greek mathematician Pythagoras of Samos lived about 70 or 80 years and he died between 500 and 490 before Christ. He thought that all numbers are rational, that is, all distances can be expressed as ratios of two integers. He also proved the famous theorem of Pythagoras. This theorem gives a relationship between the length of the sides of a right angle triangle. A special case of this theorem states that for a square of side length 1, the diagonal has the length of square root of 2. And Pythagoras thought that this also would be a rational number. His student Hippasus of Metapontum, however, was able to show that this number, square root of 2, that is the length of the red diagonal of this square of side length 1, is not a rational number. This at the time was a big scandal. People didn't want to accept it, but his proof is valid and is still known today, and it is the proof that we present as the second proof for the irrationality of square root of 2 in the end of this video. Now, to set up the starting point, let us introduce some notations. Natural numbers are numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth, that is 0 and positive integers. Natural numbers are den denoted by capital case N. The set of integers, capital case Z, consists of numbers 0, plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 3, and so forth. That is 0 and positive and negative integers. Rational numbers are ratios of integers. They are of the form P divided by Q, where P and Q are integers. Now, to get this representation unique, we assume that P is a positive or a negative integer, and Q is a positive natural number, and that the numbers P and Q do not have common factors. That is expressed by writing GZD of P, Q equals 1. GZD is sought for greatest common divisor. So this condition then means that this representation of a rational number as a ratio of P divided by Q is now unique. These are rational numbers. We will show in this video that there are no rational numbers R, such that R squared equals 2. This means that the set of rational numbers is not complete in the sense that we cannot measure all distances and lengths by rational numbers only. We must extend the set of rational numbers by so-called irrational numbers. From a practical point of view, these irrational numbers are represented by infinitely long decimal numbers. And these infinitely long decimal numbers, that is, irrational numbers together with rational numbers, forms the set of real numbers, and in the set of real numbers, capital case R, the equation R squared equals 2 has two solutions. They are plus and minus square root of 2. This plus and minus square root of 2, they are irrational numbers that can be represented by infinitely long decimal numbers. We saw that there are no rational numbers R such that R squared equals 2. And we saw this by assuming first the contrary. So we assume that there are positive integers P and Q such that P squared divided by Q squared equals 2 and that P and Q do not have common factors other than 1. Now, if p squared divided by q squared equals 2, then p squared is 2 times q squared. We prove that this is not possible. Now, if p squared equals 2 times q squared, then the area b of the large brown square of side length p 
is twice the area G of the green square with side length Q. These areas are P squared and Q squared respectively. Now, since P and Q do not have common factors, this means that we cannot find any smaller numbers P and Q such that the rational number P divided by Q would satisfy the equation P divided by Q squared equals 2. Graphically, this means that these two squares, G and B, are the smallest one, for which the area of B is two times the area of G. This is an important point for us. So the proof relies now on the fact that B and G in the picture shown here on the right are the smallest squares with integer side lengths such that the area of B is twice the area of G. The side length of the square B is P and that of the square G is Q. Now we use this fact in the following way. We take two copies of the green square G. The total area of these two copies of the green square G is the same as the area of the square B. We place these two copies of the green square G on opposite corners of this brown square B. The intersection of these two copies of the green square is the square I with the area I. And now since the total area of the two copies of the square G is the same as the area of the square B, it means that the square I must have the same area as these two squares A in the opposite corners of the brown square, because these are the two squares that are not covered by the green square and this square i is covered twice by the, these two green squares. Therefore we conclude that i must be 2 times a and the side length of a is p minus q and that of i equals 2 times q minus p. That is, the side lengths of i and a are also integers. But now i equals 2 times a is impossible since G and B were the smallest squares for which B equals 2 times G. So we have found a contradiction. And this means that there are no rational numbers R such that R squared equals 2. We present also a second proof for the fact that there are no rational numbers R such that R squared equals 2. And this proof is the original proof of Hippasus, about 2500 years old already. Also, in this proof, we first assume the contrary, and we saw that this leads to a contradiction. So we assume the contrary. If there is a rational number r such that r squared equals 2, then it means that there are positive integers p and q which do not have common factors such that p divided by q equals square root of 2. Now if p divided by q equals square root of 2, then it means that p squared divided by q squared equals 2. And this means that p squared equals 2 times q squared. Now this means that p squared is even. But p squared can be even only if p is already even, because clearly square root of 2 is not an integer. And since p is even, it is of the form 2 times some other integer n. So now we have deduced that p equals 2 times n for some integer n. And then the equation p squared equals 2 times q squared implies that 2 times n and that product squared is 2 times q squared. But the product 2 times n squared is of course the same as 4 times n squared and this is now 2 times q squared. Dividing by 2 this yields that 2 times n squared equals q squared. Now this means that q squared is an even number. And therefore, it also means that Q itself is an even number. 
Therefore, both P and Q must be even if P divided by Q squared equals 2. But we assume that P and Q do not have common factors other than 1. Therefore, this is impossible and this means that there are no rational numbers R such that R squared equals 2. This completes the proof of Hippasus. So we have shown that square root of 2 is not a rational number. Other famous irrational numbers are the mathematical constants e, pi, and then also e to the power pi is an irrational number. And if n is a positive integer and m an integer other than 0, then n to the power 1 divided by m, that is mth root of n, is either an irrational number or an integer. e to the power r is irrational for any rational r different from zero. These are just some examples of irrational numbers.